it's a hard pill to swallow. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how much authority, you know, kid, I, I don't know about a curfew. I don't know how far I can go without, um, you know, getting in violation of the governor's uh, directive. Do you have any? I, I think that we have some wiggle room on some of the issues, especially time-wise. Yeah. And uh, if, if we do it, even though we really didn't have authority for the mask ordinance when it was passed, the governor still never challenged us on it. So, I mean, I'm going to always recommend we follow the law, but if you look at past history, I don't <laughs> think the governor is going to want to get out there and be the friend of death and stop us from doing what we want to do. Okay. And the problem is anything we do now is too little too late. And it's only going to be worse in the next two, three weeks. It's still going to be worse, but that doesn't mean we should not do anything. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll say, uh, if I can say one thing, you know, if you look at the data from the mask ordinances, what was really critical for us and the effectiveness of that was not so much that people wore masks because out in public, they're not really that effective. People have all kinds of different masks on. They're not surgical masks. They're not the most effective kinds, but it was early intervention. We, we did that real fast when we first got those early spikes in June and that triggered the mask ordinance right away and that squashed it. You know, the early intervention matters. Yeah, but I guess my question is, what do we, what do we do now? I mean, we're looking at large numbers. I mean, before we could get on it early, and now it's gone wherever it's gone to. I, and I and I'm, you know, I, you know, we can we can look at curfews. I, I, you know, and sometimes you know you you do a curfew in in the city, but you know, you know, folks can be in houses. They can be in yards. They can be. You know, I, I really don't know how you would, uh, I don't know how you'd control that. I, mean, I, don't, I don't, I really don't. I guess but the other thing. We'll, we're going to look at some stuff. I don't know. The other thing we could do right now is, you know, go ahead and we can't it recommend, um, but we could recommend that gatherings be no more than 10 people period, and no more than two households. We can make that recommendation now. And, and that the governor just, did that for Thanksgiving. That's no, right. His, but not, not, you know, for every day. You say that the Federal Board of Health recommends, you know, until we see our cases go down. I think that's, I think we should certainly make that recommendation. Uh, maybe it'll raise awareness of the seriousness of the problem. And if people did that, I think it would have a positive impact. Could we do that now while we're looking into the logistics of other alternatives? I think rolling that out now, two weeks before Thanksgiving would be a great idea. Okay. Um, would you all draw that up where I've got something to work with for me? I mean, if we're, if we're going to, you know, there is, you know, if you're saying that they can't gather more than 10 people, I, well, these are recommendations, right? That's what, that's what I mean. But you know, it, it would be something that we could put out and recommend that people do. Right. And, this was purely in terms of recommendation, not regulatory. Uh, I wouldn't okay. so Suggesting that we mandate that. And you all could, if you wanted to, uh, move on your own on this and, uh, you know, pass a resolution, pass a motion or something about it. Uh, in my own mind, that's, that's, those numbers are too high still. 